Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials and this week I'll be showing you how to use UI views in your projects and apps. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it UI views for the purpose of this tutorial. Now what UI views or the little views are is basically you can insert and add multiple views within your view controller displaying more content than you originally can on your screen. So if I just go into the view controller.xib and I'll just get a view up for you now. So we just scroll down to find a view. So here we go. So all it is exactly the same as our view controller, but we place it within our view. So let's just say you have a, a game, for instance, and you need to display extra content on a second view within the view for whether something happens or you want to control settings or so on. So on. We just simply add a view here. So when we press a button, our new view will appear within our view controller. And on the new view, we'll have another button to get rid of the view and take us back to our original controller. And now uh, this is, we won't be switching views like in our other tutorials from a different XIB to a different XIB. We're just displaying a different view within the view. So if I go to our view controller.h and add in our outlets and actions. So we just add in our brackets. And the first thing I do is add our IB outlet UI view space asterisk and name it view one as I'm going to be doing two views just to give you a quick demonstration of what we how you can really mess around and play with them. So we get add our second outlet UI view asterisk view two and that very semicolon. And now I'm going to want to add four buttons all together, two buttons displaying each of the views and then two buttons hiding each of the views. So we do dash bracket IB action and I'll name it display view one and then a semicolon. Quickly copy that and paste it and change it from display one to display view two. And our second will be hide view one. And then our fourth one will be hide view two. So now we have our two action buttons to display the two views and our two action buttons to hide the two views. So once you've done that, simply save that and then go into our view controller.m and just after the implementation type out our first action button so display view 1 space bracket and then press enter all the code we simply need to do to display our view because originally at the start it's going to be hidden so what we do is we named it view1 so view1 dot hidden space equals space no as at the start it's going to be hidden so once we press this button we don't want the view to be hidden so once it's not hidden it will be displayed in our view controller and that with a semicolon and then save that for now that's all I'll do for now so if I just go into our view controller and quickly build what we have coded so far so if we drag in our button and name it display view one and then the view here will change the background colour to red and then go to our connect in our file zone and our connections we link up display view one so touch down and then view one we link up to our new view we've added and then what we simply need to do then is then insert our view into our project well into our view controller so we can simply drag it in and place it full screen and then go into your options here where you can change it and select it so your view is initially hidden once it's done that go straight to build and run <coughs> we 
We'll have a few warnings to begin with as we haven't added the rest of the code in all the buttons. So just ignore that little warning at the top for the moment. Okay then, so now once it's loaded, we hit our display view one button. And our view is displayed over the entire view. So if we just go back into it now and bring out our second or well, our view again and just simply add a button to it. I'll place it at the button and rename it return or or hide view one as we've named it in our out, well, our action button and just add the action to it of hiding view one to our button on our new view and then place it back into our current view. Go into our view controller.m and then we'll add the code in to hide our view. So do ID action, hide view one, space, bracket, space, and then it's exactly the same line of coding from our first one, but this time instead of no, we want it to be hidden, so we do yes. Once you've done that, go straight to build and run again, and we'll show you what we've created so far. So once it's loaded, we hit our display view one button, our new view appears over our current view, and we have our hide view one button to hide it, so we can display it and hide it. So when we display it, we can have extra content within this view, and when we've finished using it, we can hit our button to hide it, and it takes us back to our main view. So this revolves around about switching views or creating new XIBs, stuff like that. So now if I add the second view in, so if I just copy the code, changing display view one to display view two, and the view is hiding view two, and again with this view here, and hide view two. So if you want to pause that and catch up with any that coding, so simply we've got our all the code in there to hide both the views and display both the views. So once we've done that, we can save it. Go into our view controller.xib. Again, I'll bring out the first view. So just get out of the way so we can see what I'm doing again. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in a second button and name it display view two. And then we're grabbing our second view here. Now I'll make sure this background on this is a different color, so this time it'll be green. But this time I'm going to resize it so it's not as big as the other view and it doesn't fill the entire screen. So it does show you something that you could also do with the views. So again, if I add another button on our new view and we'll name it hide view two. Right, and now we need to make sure the second view is also hidden, so we press that hidden button. Go into our connections and our files owner, we link up hide view 2 to our button, display view 2 to our button, making sure it's all touched down, just something really simple, and then link up view 2 to our view. So now if we add them into our projects here, this time I'll place the second view at the button, so once it's displayed, it will only cover the bottom half of our original view. So then if I bring in our second view and place it over the top. So there we go. So we go straight to build and run and show exactly what we've created so far. So now once it's loaded, we can display view one and then hide it. Display view two. And now this view only covers the bottom half of our main view. So this doesn't interrupt or interfere with the buttons at the top. We're still able to use these buttons even though the view is showing at the bottom. So we can still display view one and hide it and this hide view two. So you can use these views as little pop-ins to do little certain stuff or if you've got too many buttons or you want to keep buttons hidden and unlock stuff for you out of your app you can use this, so you can display view 2, have a few buttons or some information here and then hide it, create your own little alerts, your custom alerts and stuff like that, so the possibilities are really endless with these individual views. So that's simply how you add and use UI views in your projects. 
So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and please, please, please make sure you favourite and like the video. Also, send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to give us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. And if you haven't, make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as all the links to our applications. But then the most important thing, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. If you need help with your projects or haven't got the time to create that perfect app idea, head over to our website where you can post your project on our project board for hundreds of developers to see or earn a little bit of money by completing projects posted by others. Please support us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geeklemon.com and check out all our apps by simply searching Geek Lemon on the App Store.